Annie, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you, maybe you would, you would, because I'm convinced you would. From the bottom of my heart, I, I, I'm convinced you would, honey. I know you're upset, I can tell that. And probably I would be upset too if someone broke into my house at this hour. But let's, let's consider why I did it, all right? I did it to ask you to marry me, to renew the old vows. You don't want to blow anybody to smithereens over something like that. Besides that, good news. I'm on the cover of a magazine, my picture, honey. They're going to do a story on me, a whole article on me and my work. My God, Annie, life is worth living now. So why don't you, why don't you put the heater down and we'll talk, OK? That's the spirit. Now then, let's see if we can't uh, pick a date that's good for you for us to get married, OK? Two weeks from today. All right, let's just say, let's say two weeks from today, then that, that would be the last Friday. Friday's the 13th. All right, uh, Friday the 13th she is. Three black, two with sugar, two Charlie, three. What's, what's going on? Coffee, sir, and plenty of it. No, no, I mean, somebody die or Nelson running another one of his uh, fundraisers? What? You don't have any sweet and low on your desk, do you, sir? What are all these, uh, these memos? Oh, now, look, I'm out of cream. What am I going to do now? Well, I'll tell you, I'm going to ask you one more time, and then I'm going to start pulling your fingernails. Understand? Mm -hmm. What's the story? Well, I thought you knew, sir. I'm going to start with your thumbs. You're the story. In the magazine, it, it came out today all over the country, and, and ever since then, the phones have been ringing and people have been leaving messages for you, and Mr. Kruger says it's a red-letter day for the ledger, and I've been going like 60 getting coffee. Kidding. Okay, like 50. Clap. In my office. Isn't it amazing, all this, and you're getting married on the very same day? Where's, where's Judy? I don't know. She was here, then she left. Well, maybe she went shopping for your wedding present. Rangmaster? Hey, the slapper. Come on in. Look, I sent the legal boys down to the files. Here, come on, right over here. Sit. All right, sure. Here you go. Attaboy. And look what they found. No kidding. What is it? Don't play ducks with me. You know what it is. It's your contract. It makes you exclusive to this newspaper. It's 10 years old, but it's tight as a button, solid as steel. All you have to do is sign it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, go ahead and sign whoa, whoa, wait it. Wait a minute. What, have you been playing in the kitty litter again? Huh? Your eyes are all bugged out. Your teeth are clattering like an old xylophone. What's eating you, pal? This. This is what's been eating me. And that. The phone's been ringing off the ceiling since 7 o'clock this morning, ever since that edition came out with your bean on it on the East Coast. This is big, Slap. Bigger than we figured. At every newsstand in America, at every street corner, every mom-and-pop drugstore, people are buying and reading about you. And they're interested. It's amazing. Stupefying. And where have you been? Home, motel, getting ready for a wedding. Oh, yeah? Is that today? Tonight. I'll be there. Appreciate it. Now, sign. Wait, wait, wait. Just sign. Slow down, will you? You want me to beg? I'll beg. Look, you don't have to do it for me. Do it for the paper. Our paper. Oh, comes the dawn. Look, let's just say, for the sake of argument, that you're the biggest thing to come down the pike since Wrong Way Corrigan. Mm hmm. Do you know what that could do for the ledger? It could just save this old rag. Unless I decide to walk, right? 
That's what you're afraid of. You're afraid I'm going to go Hollywood on you, right? Fast cars, fancy women, beluga for breakfast. I can handle it, pal. Beluga, I've seen it. It ain't a pretty sight. I can handle it. I know you can handle it. Now, sign this. Okay, Nelson. What do I get if I sign? What do you want? I want my car waxed, painted, green, and a set of new tires. Okay. And a new jacket, designer label. Tie to match, you got it. How about Tahiti? Trip for two, first class, round trip. Little cabana on the beach. What are you trying to do, break us? And your glass eye, uh, no, never mind your glass eye. Uh, it's all fogged up anyway. Okay, now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna catch a limo, sit by my pool and iron a shirt. Take the rest of the day off. Thanks, pal. Oh, and Slap, remember, your writing may belong to the ages, but your ass belongs to the ledger. Poetry, Nelson. Sheer poetry. <laughs> it's problematical, all right. Tricky. Elusive. Amen to that. Poets and philosophers, they never figured it out. Andy Warhol says we're all gonna have it for 15 minutes. What Andy Warhol know about getting married? Hmm? Ain't that what we're talking about, getting no, married? we're talking about uh, being famous. Well, see, I was talking about getting married. You are still getting married, aren't you? I am indeed. Glad to hear it. Annie's a good woman. Oh, Annie's the best. Well, see there, that's all that counts. As for the rest of it... Just the dog and pony show, that's what you're gonna say, right? Not exactly. Nothing wrong with a little publicity. Depends on what you do with it. Yeah, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm I'm flattered and all that, but this uh, career achievement award, I mean, what are they really saying to me? End of career, out to pasture, that's all he wrote? Now, what am I supposed to do for an encore? Wander around, waving that magazine, talking about who I used to be, telling tall tales of past glory like some landlocked sailor? You funny guy, Slap. One minute is this, next minute that. One day you're flying high, next day you're on a bus leaving town. No, no, not anymore. I'm planted. I mean, this is this is where I make my stand. I'll tell you this. The real Slap Maxwell story has not been written yet. I'll tell you why. Excuse me, Mr. Too. Maxwell. Could you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. See there, that's not so bad. Maybe I should name a cheeseburger after you. Price of fame, huh? Say, what is it you do anyway? Me. Hey, I was, uh, I was just, uh... Standing around in your shorts. Well, uh, something like that, yeah. Cute. Yeah, Valentine's gift. And if I come in, yeah. you can put your pants on if you'll be more comfortable. Thanks. I missed you at the office this morning. Yeah, I was just there a little while. Big doings, huh? I looked for you, Judy. I couldn't take it there. Couldn't get into it. I had other things on my mind, you know? Yeah. Things like the fact that you and I have hardly spoken a word to each other in the last two weeks. Things like how much I miss our times together, even though they were never much of anything to brag about. And now here I am, engaged to be married. And your wedding's in just a few hours. Doesn't that strike you as kind of funny? Funny's a funny word. Laurel and Hardy were funny. The Abbott Costello and funny sometimes. First season of Cheers. It's also funny. a colossal mistake. Judy. Hear me out. I've thought it over, and I realize just how wrong this whole thing is. Not really. For me, I mean. Neil's a wonderful guy. <laughs> I guess you'd have to say he's perfect in every way. And, of course, he's handsome, and... I get the picture. But I'm not sure, Slap. I'm just not sure if I'm ready to settle down with somebody who's that... Flawless. I guess that's what I'm saying. So you came here. Maybe I'm looking for some kind of sign. We all need a sign every once in a while, don't we? Wouldn't have to be a big one. Nod of the head. Glimmer in the eyes. A simple yes or no. Just 
something to go on. Well, I guess that's that. You know, I have a feeling I'm going to want to thank you for this. The next time I see you. Wedding present. A&D will be right back with Susan Ansbach in Slap Maxwell. A&D is back with Dabney Coleman as Slap Maxwell. Here we are at the altar once again. Everything's beautiful. And that dress, geez. You like it? I love it. So will Slap. I think he's going to show. Sorry. Everything is going to be fine, Annie. <sighs> Maybe that's what I'm being nervous about. You know, it took me three hours to put this dress on. I kept staring in the mirror, thinking about how I used to hate the way Slap dumped his coffee grinds in the sink. Well, I used to do that. Maybe that's why I asked him to stay at the motel till the last minute. Because he was a slob. No. So we could both be sure. You two belong together, like liver and bacon. Or nitro and glycerin. Oh, well. After today, it'll be decided. Show or he won't. Where do you want this, Mom? Oh, um, find your favorite bullet hole. He's coming. I promise you. I talked to him. He's a happy man. Everything is going to be fine. Nothing is going to keep him from being here today. Afternoon. Hi. Got a little problem here. Think you could fix it? Well, it all depends. Uh, you in a hurry? Yeah, I'm on my way to get married. A <laughs> little too old for that, ain't you? Uh, you think you can fix it or not? Well, me, uh, I just mainly pump gas. My son could fix it, though. He does all the mechanical work. He owns this place. Yeah. Could I talk to him? Uh, well, he ain't here. Took off in the wrecker. Probably some fool ran out of gas someplace. You know how people are these yeah, days. Yeah, right. Uh, tell you what. Uh, Bans and you're in such a hurry to go get married. Maybe I should just, uh, look here and check. Yeah, would you? <laughs> Had a little experience with old buckets like this. Yeah. Spent uh, 40 years in the Navy motor pool. That right. The old Navy. Yeah. You got a pay phone inside? Yes, yeah, right inside the office. A grandson will show you where it is. Telephone, son. Do you have any change on your by any chance? No quarters on it. Don't tell me it's dead again. It's dead again. Seems yeah. like nothing ever works anymore, does it, Alan? Think I found the problem, though, to your car. Oh, good. Busted radiator hose. Uh, it won't take long to get you all fixed up, though. Oh, great, great. Uh, I'll tell you what. Why don't you just relax? Take a seat over there by my grandson. Uh, Tommy, uh, slide on down, will you? Real fisherman. Yeah. Supposed to go out with his dad this morning, but yeah. he uh, had to no, go with the record. Yeah, right. That sort of ruined Tommy's plans, mm -hmm. but, uh, so why don't you uh, try to cheer him up, okay? Well, wait a minute. Um, is, isn't that uh, more or less your job? <laughs> you gonna fix the car? Oh, yeah. Well, this is your dad's place, huh? Nice place. Old place. You don't find him like this much anymore. Nice rod. Did I see it? Thanks. Oh, yeah. yeah. I used to do a lot of fishing years ago with my son. He's about your age. Of course, he's a big boy now. We used to go down this path, this winding path. It was all covered over with thistles. And it wound down to this pond. It was just brimming with bluegills. It was, I mean, it was really something. A secret place? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knew about it but us. Mm -hmm. 
I got a place, too. Yeah? Yeah? You ever hear of a, a baseball player named Ted Williams? <laughs> well, he happens to be a, a great fisherman also. And there's a story around that says that he once caught a bonefish that weighed 30 pounds. I don't get it. I phoned the motel. He's checked out. Where is he? Maybe he's having car trouble. Yeah, that's it. Car trouble. Have a canopy, Uncle Nelson. Huh? Cheese and crackers. Oh, yeah. I knew that. It's a big day for Pop, isn't it? The magazine and all. I told him, slap. I said, things are going to be different now. <laughs> Bet he hated that. All the fuss, the pressure. Pop's never liked that kind of thing. You kidding? This is what he always wanted. This is a dream come true. Maybe that's why he's not here. There you go. All set? Yep. Filled up your tank, too, while I was at it. You oh, was good. getting mighty low. Oh, good. Thank you very much. How much, uh, how much do I owe you? No, you don't owe me nothing. We worked a little swap in there. It was pretty good, you know. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, he's, he's quite a kid. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, uh, he reminds me of me about 60 years ago. Yeah? Impatience, you know, always uh, chomping at the bit. Yeah. Chasing his dreams, following his heart's desire. Yeah. Nothing like me and you. Excuse me? Oh, oh, there, I was just battling off. No, no, you said something about uh, you and me? Well, uh, nothing really, I guess. Uh, well, you know, uh, we're a little older, and uh, we got our feet on the ground. Uh, we got responsibilities. We don't go gallivanting around well, uh, every time that, the urge comes I mean, up. Uh, uh, all our good times, I guess, are behind us. No, wait, wait. Not that we ain't had them. They're kind of like a, a scrapbook. You bring them out every once in a while, and you look at them. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, uh, did I mention I'd been in the Navy? Yeah. yeah you I've did. had my times, plenty of them. I was shipwrecked in the Dardanelles. I've watched a mountain of fire raise right out of the Pacific Ocean. You know, once in Zanzibar, I saw a man swallow a monkey. Take this. He didn't... He... What? What is it, 20 or 30 dollars? Just take it, okay? Uh, no, really, no, take mister. Take it. I thought you and me... No, Popeye, not you and me. Don't include me in your club. You see this face? You know who I am? Gene Hackman. Slap Maxwell. Sports Writer of the Year. He's crazy. Charlie, I didn't mean to. Somebody get a broom. Okay, Mom? Yeah. Just looking at the backyard. Gonna miss it, I think. A lot of nice memories. Remember that tree house Bob built for me out there? I didn't build you a tree house. No. But he bought a ladder. <sighs> I used to love it. Especially at night. Walking under the stars, listening through your window. Hearing your father tell you bedtime stories just as dawn was coming up. <laughs> I remember those stories. I remember the one where he went five for five off Harry the Cat Brookeen in a spring training game, including three homers. And the Cardinals asked him to stay for the regular season, but he couldn't because he had to go back and finish elementary school. Yeah, that was a good one. Do you remember that other one about the boy in the tattered coat who one day found a wish at the bottom of his pocket and couldn't decide what to wish for? Food, friends, gold. In the end, he left it there in his pocket to hold on to forever and ever. It wasn't what the wish could bring. But the having of the wish that was his true heart's desire. <sighs> I guess we should go inside. Don't keep the waiting anymore, huh? Big slap. 
bigger than we figured. We all need a sign every once in a while, don't we? Impatience, you know, always uh, chomping at the bit, chasing his dreams. Remember, Slap, your writing may belong to the agents, but your ass belongs to the ledger. And I'll tell you this, the real Slap Maximum story has not been written yet. tattered coat. God bless us, everyone. And I'll tell you this, the real Slap Maximum story has not been written yet. A&E will be right back with Slap Maxwell. <laughs> 